Hey, my darling, are you ready for all the beauties that we're about to serve? Saturday wash days with my grandmother were always the best. I would lay my head on the edge of the sink and she would hand me something to play with so that I didn't fall asleep. Her long fingers tugged at my tangles. With love and care, she conditioned each strand. We gotta get that hair together, girl, she'd say with a smile each week. Her words never hurt me. I knew she meant them with love. Her words never hurt me, even when she told me that my hair was too much. Saturday wash days with grandma became Saturday appointments at the salon. Coiled, curled, and cleansed became wash, rinse, relax. 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 My hair relaxed. Can you imagine that? The cycle repeated until my hair was weak from the constant attacks, and soon, with each visit, my coil slowly stopped coming back. My hair fought until the damage reached the roots, no longer growing, no longer curling, no longer showing any sign of life. I sat on my bathroom floor as I had clumps of damage where there once was pride, and I cried. I cried as I cut the hair my grandmother said was too much. I cried as I cut the hair my classmates never understood. I cried as I cut the hair I once had fun styling. I cried until the last piece of pain was cut and then I started smiling. For a black woman to wear her natural hair, mm -hmm. however that manifests itself, yes. to me is a declaration of power and of pride mm. and of love and of identity i'm just a huge fan of it mm. i really am i'm a huge fan of it um, i understand why we do the wigs and the i understand it um but i i i understand it but i i would never demand it mm -hmm. yeah i would never demand it many women that i see with naturals i go out of my way mm -hmm. to tell them how beautiful their hair looks and, and just to see their shoulders rise. Is it the actual shrinkage of our kinky inches or the shrinkage of our minds limited to society's opinion of rocking our crown that enforces us to wear weave or wigs? If our hair is our crown, then why don't we embrace the natural curls, coils, or coarse hair coarse texture of our hair and wear it without being robbed of our dignity, dignity, like not being able to work a job with dreaded hair. Is it the coils in my fro that intimidates you, making a statement of freedom? Is it the lengthy texturized curls that bothers you, popping out? my melanin, or maybe it's the long silk press that impresses you, proving the power of my shrinkage. You can try to change my disguise, but the secrets of my melanated skin relies deeply in the roots of my hair. I am a black girl who embraces her natural, magical, get supernatural hair and this is how i wear my crown i smiled at my solution i smiled knowing that without hair there would be nothing left for people to judge nothing left to be too much i had eliminated the problem gotten rid of a part of my identity i'm smiling why am i still so unhappy Hurtful words echo in my mind from voices that I do not recognize. My hair is gone and I feel exposed. My hair is gone and I feel uncomfortable. My hair is gone and I want it to return. You gotta get that hair together, girl. You gotta get that hair together, girl. You gotta get that hair together, girl. Do you ever get embarrassed of your hair? No, I love my hair. But it's so messy. Every single strand of hair on my head has been individually curled to perfection. 
the average human being has between 80,000 and 120,000 hairs on their head. And yet every single individual strand of hair on my head has been coiled and curled to perfection. Meaning the universe in its infinite glory made sure that every single individual strand would be curled to perfection. Not a bunch, not a clump, every single hair strand. An old teacher of mine used to say that rushed work is never really our best work. All I know is the universe took its time making me. I love my 4C hair. But I must admit it's weird that I get blank stares from people I don't know and to be honest I even fear that when people look at me they think my hair is ugly. Okay, I'll be honest. I believed it too. I remember looking in the mirror and thinking, Katarina, your hair is so ugly. I believed it so much so that I would pray and ask God to transform my hair into something it simply was not curly. I had completely forgotten the concept of good theology because my prayers clearly reflected the fact that I believed that God had made a mistake when he created me this way. I needed to be delivered from my DNA and saved from any trace that indicated I was black. Because honestly, I didn't like it. When I was younger, I often envisioned myself being 20 shades lighter with long curly hair that I could slick back and wear in a high ponytail with waves for days. In other words, loving myself was something I had to get used to. Especially when I went natural. But as soon as I realized my edges can't be laid and my curls don't be popping, I kept trying not realizing that my self-esteem was dying and I started lying claiming that I love my 4C hair. And I did. I love my hair as much as I love gunfights. I mean, I never once heard of someone with my hair type having hair considered good or nice. My curls are undefined, and if I leave it out for too long, it shrinks in the strands and twine, forming a cascade of knots, but not today. You could bet your kinky curly hair that I'm not going to cover it up because I love my 4 hair. Or at least I'm trying. Our hair is a love language. It's never too much see doing our hair is acts of self-love you can look but like solange said don't touch the strands the roots are the sacred parts of us that run deeper than a comb history says cane rolls is how we found our way home it's time to let it be known my hair is not only the crown but it's the whole throne it's royalty and if you copy my hairstyle i'm gonna need some royalties Woman, your strength is a legacy that echoes through thousands of generations, from the seed of Eve to the obedience of Mary. It's in the rhythm of Maria Magheba, the compassion of Mother Teresa, the love of Princess Diana. You'll find it in the wisdom of Maya Angelou, the success of Oprah Winfrey, the elegance of Mubasitana Kumalo the heritage of Mama Esther and what's even bigger and better is that woman you are power when you're united successful when determined victorious woman you remain undefeated you did it back then and you can do it again you are a mother a sister a daughter a friend tried tested and proved that you too can play the role of a father a giver a leader a pioneer a game changer and even when the world does not pay fair and you have been victimized Years of being told I was not the standard for beauty, but see, that was a lie. Which is why I chose to rewrite my own narrative. Dear black girl, we are warriors whose spirits can't be crushed. We speak up when told we're too much. We forgive when our black men dismiss, degrade, and can't see that we are not the ugly ducklings, but... The swan princess, the Nubian goddess, the reflection of our ancestors, the maid in his image. When society tries to pin light versus dark skin, we remind them that every shade of chocolate is divinely crafted. Black girl magic is more than a hashtag. So to all my sisters, as we continue this process of loving our skin, start with this, look at yourself in the mirror. This is me. That brings us to the very end of this video. Let me know down below in the comment section. Which of these seven hairstyles was your favorite one? Style one, two, three, four, five, six, da -da 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 -da, seven. Let me know which of them was your favorite one. And everyone going back to school, going to work, 
resuming this season, whatever it is, a new job, your old job, just resuming a new day of life. I wish you the all the very best. I wish you success. I wish you blessings. And I'm praying that this semester for the students that are going back, it's going to be nothing short of excellence for you. Okay. And all your endeavors will come to a reality. Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>